What is up guys, Ian here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we're taking your mindset from a place of lack to a place of abundance. Are you fired up? I don't know about you, but I am. Last night uh, we did a board plan. Uh, it went phenomenal. I was able to speak in front of about 30 people and I didn't mean freaking like shiver. Like I was just like headstrong. But afterwards, uh, we wrote fired up on the whiteboard and um, I started to create some acronyms for it. I, I would like to share that with you. So number one, fired up, freedom, freedom. Hence the flag in the background. America is, is always been known for its freedom. You have the freedom to do whatever you want uh, with under man's law and God's law. You have the freedom to like whatever you want, freedom to say whatever you want, freedom to honestly be whoever you want. But there is a, you know, constriction in that. There is, there is a problem because we are not free as a country. If you have a job and if you're financially held down by a paycheck every two weeks because you're living paycheck to paycheck, you are not free, you are a slave. Um, people think slavery's been gone for 200 years, eradicated. Oh, I'm here to tell you that it's not. If you are working for someone else, working and building someone else's dream, and you don't have streams of income that potentially could uh, give you the advantage of walking away from your job and becoming financially independent, you are not free. Because a job is, is a ceiling. A job is something that is holding you back to you, your true potential. And this is just my entrepreneurial mind. If you have a job, you are not free because when that source of income stops, so does your life practically. The bills don't, but if your income stops, you are, you are not free. Hate to break it to you guys, but uh, that's just my mindset and I just want to help people realize that even if you do have a job, create residual incomes on the side. You can keep your job. I'm not saying to quit your job. I'm just saying if you're relying 100% on your job for your source of income, you're dumb. On to the next. Investing. Fired up. I. Investing. Life is all about investing. Life is all about, you know, finding what it is that you should spend your time, money, and uh, efforts on and knowing that Whatever it is, it, it, it's going to reflect in the long term. So an investment-minded person is a long-term mindset individual. They're, th they're thinking two, three months, four, five, one year, two years in the, in the future. And an investment is so crucial because you should be investing into your life every single day. And before you can invest in someone else, you've got to invest in yourself. And that's all by uh, investing in your health, investing into your, your life, investing into your relationships, investing into you know, who you are so you can invest your time in other, for other people. Did you know that the greatest investment you can have is in people? So the ROI, the, the R in fired up is you know, return on investment. You know, life is about in and out. Put in, put out. It's about karma. It's about knowing that you're going to get returned no matter what, just a matter of how well you placed your cards and how well you invested into uh, whatever it may be. Life is all about investments like the previous, but knowing that uh, if you are investing, investing your time, money, and you know, your efforts, you will get returned on that investment. I don't know how much it is, but you have to realize that the universe doesn't doesn't differentiate one penny be between a hundred pennies. So literally you'll get return on investment in whatever you do. It's just a matter of how much you're putting in, how much time you're spending, and how much effort uh, you're putting in to have that return. The E part of Fired Up is education. Now. The reason why I got around my mentors and the reason why a door is open for me is because 
Mark Twain once said, don't let school ruin your education. And I'm not advocating that school is a bad decision. I'm not saying that school formal education is bad. I'm saying that going to get a degree to impress someone else is not going to benefit you any more than uh, just going out and applying for jobs and sacrificing and like literally selling yourself to the highest bidder. Education is all about personal education. It's about knowing who you are and expanding that horizon. Did you know that what your fear is, is exactly what you should be educating yourself on? What you're scared of is probably where you should be headed. Educate yourself in those fields. Educate yourself in things that you actually like on the opposite side. Maybe you like health and nutrition. Educate yourself in that. Maybe you love music. Go to school for music theory. So all these things uh, really should reflect through you. And education should be able to inspire and promote who you are as an individual and your endeavors of entrepreneurial type assets. You should be able to, you know, enterprise your businesses at a higher higher rate because of the education that you gave yourself. And that's that's literally a, a literally a ever living process. You'll you'll always have room for grow to grow and you'll always have an education to sought after. The D part of fired up is for dicks. Don't be a dick. One third of people complacent. They're never going to do anything and they're happy being lazy and doing nothing. Those people I don't have a problem with. They're never in your way. So you just forget about them. Another third of people are dicks, assholes that literally try to get in your way and try to ruin everything. Typically these dicks are employee mindsets, very short term mindset people. And if you try to talk about business and long-term mindset, these people are gonna rip you apart because they don't know any better. They're stupid. And a dick does not promote other people's success. He resents it. Therefore, he'll never be successful. But the other third is ambitious. One third of people are ambitious and are go-getters. They're literally locked on this big prize for themselves. They're locked on this huge goal for themselves and you know they're striving every single day to get there and literally working so hard to change who they are so they can change their life but the one third the dicks always are in the way so as you know an individual who's trying to pursue greatness realize that one third of people are going to get in your way and you have to accept that but know that it's going to build you stronger those type of people make you invincible they make you literally a warrior you got to fight for your freedom and people are going to get in your way but make sure you slash them and cut their freaking head right off so up fired up you is for underdog guys i'm telling you man a lot of the people that are super successful nowadays once thought they were nothing once had so much anxiety so much freaking uh, self-doubt so much insecurities you have no idea but it's those types of people it's the people that have to struggle the most it's the people that have to grow the most that actually begin to grow something far bigger than ever thought possible you know, I used to have incredible social anxiety. I used to not even be able to speak in front of a person, let alone a group, gosh. And I always was self-conscious about my speech, about who I am, um, about how I looked. And to be honest, I had no reason to be self-doubtful. But that underdog mentality gave me an opportunity to know that I have weaknesses and to work those weaknesses and build them into strengths. An underdog isn't necessarily constricted by his environment or his current situation. An underdog knows where he wants to be and sees the fear in front of him and decides to pursue anyway and grow and expand. He's sick and tired of being sick and tired of being scared, of being insecure and being a a loser so an underdog you know breaks out of the chain and actually pursues greatness and the underdog is the one that actually creates and changes the world
And the last one, guys, is for P, up, or P and up is for positivity through potential. Now, let me, let me tell you guys, if you're, in the, if you're the most positive person in the room, you shouldn't be in that room. I'm just saying that as an individual, you need to be a positive indi individual. You need to be the most positive person in the room. But I'm saying, the reason why I say that is because if you're the most positive person in the room, you're around a bunch of losers. You should be around positive people because positive people bring, bring out the greatness in you. But as entrepreneurs, you need to be the most optimistic person you know. You need to be the, the most go-getter, optimistic, savage, uh, potential seeker that you would ever thought possible. You need to see the greater side of things. You need to see that life is sunny on the other side of the slope. You need to see the grass is always greener on the other side of work and hard uh, labor. Not necessarily hard labor, but on the other side of you know ambition. Now, positive potential means that you have so much potential. You literally are a creature of potential. Your, your God-given gifts literally are so abundant, it's terrifying. But the thing is, is people forget that. If you shoot for nothing, you'll never hit it. So know that you have incredible potential and shoot for the sky. Shoot for the biggest freaking dream you ever thought possible because that is your potential. If you can think it, you can do it. And that potential that you have for yourself needs to be fueled by your positivity. It needs to be enriched and edified to build and to really push you on to keep, keep on going every single day, day in, day out. And eventually, I'm telling you guys, if you shoot for something, you'll hit it. So I hope you guys like this fired up acronym uh, session. I honestly made this up on the spot last night in front of my uh, business partner, this girl. And honestly, it got me fired up and I'd love to share it with you guys. And I hope, hopefully you took something from it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button or that like button. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll catch you later. Namaste.